it seems like there will actually be four different versions of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. The first is our Doctor Strange, second is Defender Strange, third is the villain, Sinister Strange, and the last one is Supreme Strange. And we actually know who Supreme Strange is and what role he'll play. Yesterday I talked about how this image showed Captain Carter and Professor X on what looked like Titan. I went on a bit of a rant about how it could connect to Galactus and the Living Tribunal, but it's unfortunately much more simple than that, and confirms that Tom Cruise's superior Iron Man was planned to be in the movie, but was cut for some reason. In previous leaks, it was said that Doctor Strange met a variant of Iron Man who survived his encounter with Thanos because his Doctor Strange, aka Supreme Strange, sacrificed his life instead to stop Thanos. And that's the reason why Professor X, Captain Carter, Black Bolt, and Maria Rambeau are on Titan. Because just like in the comics, before he died, Supreme Strange was a part of the Illuminati. Now why Iron Man was cut is still unknown, but like I theorized, he is bound to appear somewhere else later on down the road. In a recent response to a comment, My Time to Shine Hello tweeted, I was the first to leak Krasinski and Theron, so I think I would know if Deadpool and Iron Man slash Monger were in the film. A lot more was planned and got cut, but I'm sure the multiverse Iron Something played by Tom Cruise is still on the way, just not in Multiverse of Madness. The most likely place is an Illuminati project. Assuming that Krasinski also plays the MCU's version of Mr. Fantastic, we could get a multiversal Illuminati in the MCU as well. Maybe this Iron Man was part of the Illuminati that we see in Doctor Strange too, but at that moment, he wasn't at the stronghold for whatever reason and survived Wanda's attack. This would explain where the Ultron bots came from, as in this universe, Ultron didn't become evil, and instead did become a suit of armor around the world like Stark wanted. When Iron Man returns and sees that his team is dead, he decides to rebuild it with multiversal variants of the members he once had. Instead of his Mr. Fantastic, he'll take the MCU's version. And maybe he'll also take a Professor X from his universe and do the same for all six members. Or maybe since our universe doesn't have an Iron Man, he'll just come over to our universe and create a new Illuminati with the MCU versions of these characters. It was also confirmed that Doctor Strange Supreme, the version from What If, is not the same version as either Supreme Strange or Sinister Strange. Benedict Cumberbatch himself confirmed that the character was completely different, meaning that in the MCU, we now have five different versions of Doctor Strange. And while some may think that Sinister Strange is just an evil version of Supreme Strange, like I already explained, that's not the case. They are two completely different characters, and you can tell because not only do they have different costumes, but Supreme Strange died against Thanos, and that's why there's a statue of him in front of that universe's Sanctum Sanctorum. Sinister Strange, on the other hand, is the main villain of the movie, the one with three eyes, and when he dies, he's the zombified Strange that we've seen throughout the trailers. What's interesting about Sinister Strange having three eyes though, is that the ending for the movie seems to show Strange getting a third eye as well, and the post credit scene implies that he too will become possessed by some evil presence. This is quite obviously a stretch, but what if Sinister Strange went down the same path that our Doctor Strange is currently going down? And in Doctor Strange 3, we'll see what could have been. What would have happened if Sinister Strange overcame the darkness? But let me know what you guys think about all this. Did you ever expect to see five different versions of Doctor Strange in the MCU? And which one do you think is the strongest? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.